This is Perry Adams from DARPA, and I'm running the AI Cyber Challenge, also known as AICC. I'm excited to share some big news about the competition and officially kick off registration. In this video, I'll discuss the latest changes to the challenge, explain the scoring algorithm we'll use in the semifinal competition, highlight an example challenge to give you just a sense of what you can expect, provide an update on the resources our collaborators will provide competitors, and finally, I'll walk you through the updated registration process. With the AI Cyber Challenge, we have the opportunity to revolutionize software security. Computer systems, especially critical infrastructure, remains highly vulnerable to cyber attacks, and this risk grows as bad actors become more sophisticated. Too many vulnerabilities today still go unfound or unfixed, and we don't have the technology to secure software at the speed and scale necessary to counter this evolving cyber threat. At DARPA, we don't aim for incremental change. Our goal is to create the kinds of technological breakthroughs that completely change the game. We want to redefine how we secure widely used critical code, the code that powers everything from our cell phones, waste management systems, power plants to our electric grids and beyond. Our hypothesis is that today's AI technology is what will achieve this revolutionary change. We believe AI can be leveraged to automatically find and fix software vulnerabilities at the necessary speed and scale. But to do that, we need your help. We're designing a competition that incentivizes out-of-the-box thinking to develop tools that will eventually be real-world applicable, and I want you to compete. When I announced AICC at Black Hat in 2023, DARPA was offering nearly $20 million in prizes throughout the competition. Today, I'm excited to announce that we're adding an additional $4 million in prize money at our semifinal competition at DEF CON this summer in 2024. Now at semifinals, up to seven teams will win $2 million each and advance to the finals. We want to encourage and incentivize as many qualified researchers as we can to participate in this competition. We've restructured the competition schedule to enable wide participation and ensure that teams have the time to develop the best system possible. Get ready, because the AICC semifinal competition this August will now be open to all registered teams. The qualification competition and the semifinal competition have been combined into one event. This means that teams will have from our kickoff in March through July to develop the best cyber reasoning system, or CRS, possible for finding and fixing software vulnerabilities. Further, for those five months, all registered teams will have access to technology from our AI collaborators to develop their CRS. I'll be sharing more information on that and some changes to our tracks in a minute. But first, I want to give you a sneak peek at our semifinal competition. Teams can compete in the semifinal competition either virtually or in person. Teams will build a CRS that can find and fix vulnerabilities in software at speed and at scale. During gameplay, each CRS will be given a suite of software projects or challenge projects and asked to automatically secure them. To ensure competitors develop a CRS that can successfully integrate into the real world, we've developed a scoring system based on four key metrics to fairly assess each competitor's system. Whether for consumer products or critical infrastructure, vulnerabilities are pervasive in today's software development life cycles. Fixing each one can take an average of 205 days. The AI Cyber Challenge aims to accelerate the development of technology that can find and fix vulnerabilities quickly, accurately, and without human intervention. Scoring the AI Cyber Challenge plays a key role in ensuring competitors develop these systems to integrate into the real world, not just in a competition. Scoring is based on a few key objectives. It must be automated. It must reward advancements in the technology rather than attempts to defeat the scoring algorithm. It must not favor any specific approach or methodology. And above all, it must reward systems that would work at the scale of real-world software applications. Here's how scoring works for the AI Cyber Challenge Semifinals Competition. A team cyber reasoning system, CRS, is presented with a set of challenge projects, CPs, in which a team CRS must find and fix vulnerabilities. 
A challenge project may contain any number of vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities are scorable if they fall under a predetermined subset of the 2023 Top 25 Most Dangerous Software Weakness classes. A suite of AI Cyber Challenge sanitizers are used to map vulnerabilities to these CWE classes. To identify individual vulnerabilities, a team CRS submits a proof of vulnerability and a proof of understanding. A set of the AI Cyber Challenge sanitizers evaluate the proof of vulnerability and confirm that a scorable vulnerability has been identified. To get points, the proof of understanding has to have predicted which AI Cyber Challenge sanitizer caught the vulnerability. Once the CRS has correctly identified a vulnerability, the CRS may generate and submit a source code patch to fix the vulnerability. Successful patches do not interfere with the software's functionality and do adhere to best coding practices. A team score represents the overall performance of their CRS. It is based on a set of four metrics. Each metric measures performance in specific areas of excellence selected for the competition. The metrics are Diversity Multiplier rewards CRSs that perform across a range of vulnerability classes and indirectly rewards language diversity because some languages are more likely to have certain vulnerability classes. Accuracy Multiplier penalizes CRSs that submit too many inaccurate vulnerabilities and patches, spamming guesses into the system. Vulnerability Discovery Score rewards CRSs that accurately identify scorable vulnerabilities. And Program Repair Score rewards CRSs for submitting patches that do not interfere with the software's intended functionality, do actively fix the vulnerability, and that would most likely be accepted in the real world. By properly weighting real-world standards and effectiveness, AI Cyber Challenge incentivizes teams to not just win the competition, but lead the way to better securing the software we all rely on. For a closer look at the AI Cyber Challenge scoring algorithm, go to AICyberChallenge.com. Establishing a fair and effective scoring system is critical to AICC's success, and we can't do that alone. We are releasing a draft scoring algorithm as a request for comments, or RFC. You can find this RFC document at AICyberChallenge.com, and we want your input. You can share your feedback on the scoring algorithm by emailing AIXCC at DARPA.mil before January 15th. We do ask that you limit your feedback to 400 words or less. So that's how we'll be keeping score on AICC. Let's now dive into an example of the kinds of challenges you can expect in your first AICC competition. The AICC challenge projects are based on real open source software, and we'll be working closely with the Open Source Security Foundation to identify the most critical open source software and design challenge sets that are inspired by real world CVEs. For the AICC semifinal competition, challenge projects will be primarily written in C, C++, and Java, but may be written in a range of languages. We encourage you to think creatively about how a CRS can leverage AI technology to handle this diversity. Our first exemplar challenge is the Linux kernel. Whether it's the millions of routers on our internet or the billions of Android devices we use every day, the massive footprint of the Linux kernel goes without saying. The exemplar vulnerability we have here is inspired by this 2021 CVE in which a flaw in the kernel's transparent inter-process communication, or TIPSI module, allows memory corruption and privilege escalation on a victim system. This means that an attacker can gain powerful privileges by exploiting this bug and do things like injecting malicious code onto victim devices. Just like with the scoring algorithm, we're releasing the exemplar challenge as part of our request for comments. You can find out more details about it within the RFC document on AICyberChallenge.com. It's important to note that this exemplar is just one type of challenge you will see on AICC. Leading up to the semifinals, we'll provide you with access to a competition environment to test out your CRS on this and other exemplar challenges. For more details on this and other technical aspects of the semifinal competition, please visit AICyberChallenge.com. So to help you build your CRS, DARPA's collaborators at Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI will make credits available for their large language models and computing resources to those who meet eligibility and application requirements for AICC. 
As you've seen in the past year, AI technology is evolving rapidly. And so we're thankful to have partners at the cutting edge of frontier model development to help us define challenge projects that will push the state of the art in software security. Early next year, we'll be sharing detailed information on the credits provided, as well as videos from these collaborators outlining additional information about their contributions to AICC. And that brings us to our final topic. How can you participate? Starting today, December 13th, we invite small businesses, individuals, and teams to register to compete in our open and small business tracks. To compete in AICC, all teams must register and submit an application via the competition website. I mentioned at the start of this video that we'd be changing the structure of the AICC tracks. Now, the open track of AICC remains unchanged, and teams wishing to compete in it can go register on AICyberChallenge.com. Teams registering for the open track must provide a five-page registration paper outlining their technical plan. Further details may be found on the website. The funded track on AICC would have provided funding through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SIBR, funding program. However, after reassessing the funded track, we found the use of the SIBR program to be incompatible with the agency's R&D needs for AICC and stated timeline for the competition. But DARPA is still committed to ensuring small business participation on AICC by providing up to seven small businesses with up to $1 million each. To do so, we determined a path forward that better meets the agency's needs for AICC while still providing small businesses the resources to catalyze research in this space. As outlined in the latest competition rules update, the small business track of AICC replaces the funded track. Teams will compete to be part of the small business track by submitting a concept white paper, outlining their knowledge, skills, capabilities, and approach for this challenge. Contestants' concept papers will be reviewed by a panel of government subject matter experts and judges. Based on the conclusions of the judging panel, DARPA will identify up to seven winning teams to participate in the AICC small business track and win $1 million each in prize money. We recognize all the hard work so many of you put into applying to the funded track, and we were thrilled by the response. We are deeply grateful to see such commitment to software security. All teams who apply to the funded track are strongly encouraged to apply to the small business track, and teams are welcome to reuse material from their previous submission. Small business track registration will be through the same portal as the open track. Further information about the small business track can be found at AICyberChallenge.com and in version four of the AICC rules. With AICC, we have the opportunity to not only produce the next generation of cybersecurity tools, but show how AI can be used to better society by defending its critical underpinnings. The DARPA challenge model has proved time and time again the power of competition as a forcing function to drive innovation. And we constantly seek out new communities of talent that will help develop technological breakthroughs that keep our country and its citizens safe and free. We encourage you to use the public AICC Slack channel to build your teams as needed. We're essentially creating a new category for software security. So we don't expect one person or one department or even one company to have all the answers. Thanks for your time today, and we'll be in touch soon with more on the AI Cyber Challenge. I hope you will join DARPA and our collaborators on the shared adventure to secure our world.